see I've got a lot of sticks in front of me. All the sticks I've used in probably what? The last four months? Maybe less. Um, and today we are ranking them from my favorite or my number one to, well, bottom. I don't know how many I've got here. So from best to worst in my, my eyes, my opinion. It's hard, man, it's hard. Um, I've only just got my ASV, my ASV Pro, which is why I'm a little bit like, uh, like I don't want to rank it number one. So it's not going to be number one, but there is a tie number one at the minute. Don't give us that yet. But we're not going to do it that way. You're going to have to wait to see what my number one stick is. So we're going to go from bottom to top. I'm sure a lot of you have guessed if you got a good look at the sticks. Um, it's just too light for me. I just don't like it. It feels weird. The, the, the agent's at the bottom for me. I just don't like it. It's too light for me. I don't feel like I have a stick in my hands. And if you've been watching the videos for a long time, you know I like to feel that my stick's there. And you just don't with the agent. Okay. Next. I just don't like the shape of it. The release is really nice. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate because of what the stick is. Um, but it's got nothing to do with the brand. It's got purely to do with the stick and how it performs for me. Um, the sink's next. It feels weird. I can't get on with the shape of it. Um, like I said, I'm not knocking the stick because the stick has a really nice release. I just can't get on with the shape of it. I think the shape's very weird. I'm sure if you've seen some of the videos that me and Chris have done on it, it has that five side, which it just doesn't sit very nicely in my hand. So for that reason, that's next. How are you going to get crap for having I know, I know, I know. Two bower sticks at the bottom. Listen, it's got nothing to do with bower. It's got nothing to do with bower. I just can't get on with the two sticks. I don't like them. What's next in the bottom? Oof. I know, dude, I know. Um. Be honest. I'm, oh, that's the problem. I'm trying to be so honest, but I don't know. Like, if all these sticks were there, like, I wouldn't have a problem picking them up and playing with them. Yeah. Which is why it's so hard to put them all... Some ducks in the background making noise, but keep going. They're rude. Which, which is why I can't just easily pick which one's next. Um... Damn. I'm going to put this one next because... I haven't used it in a long time, um, and I've had the option to, and I just, I, I've chosen not to. Not because it's a bad stick, just because, I mean, I've, I've preferred using the others over the top of it. Uh, FT5 Pro? FT5 Pro. It is a lovely stick, don't get me wrong. It is a lovely stick, don't get me wrong, but... I've noticed you've not used that for a minute. I haven't used it for a very long time, and I've had the option to, which just, for me, tells me it's not it doesn't deserve to be higher up. Okay. Oh, probably surprised a lot of people. Um, <laughs> it gets harder and harder every time a stick goes away because I love every single one of these sticks in front of me. Next, let's keep it going. Oh, um, Who's going to get wounded next? Can I guess? Go ahead, what do you think? I think it's going to be the AS4 Pro. You think the AS4 Pro? I, could, I think you could be right. I think it could be right. I love the AS4 Pro, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely stick, the release is a joke, you can get that hard power shot, yeah. but um, the ASV Pro comes on top of that, and all these sticks here just have a way better release in my eyes, so for that reason, Woo. the AS4 Pro is next, which pains me to say because I do really like that stick. Hate just calm down in the comments, that's two Bauer sticks, two CCM sticks, relax. <sighs> What's next? Uh, damn, bro. Um, I tell you, it's gonna be my ASV Pro. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, why? It's it's great. You can get that really hard, powerful shot. You got that grip, which I spoke about. If you watch our video on it, I spoke about the grip and what the shape of the stick is for. It does exactly what it's meant to. Um, but I like a stick that I can get a nice quick release off on. And for me, just these four sticks that are on my lap have a way better release than this one. So... Pains you to do it. It does, it does pay me to do it because I really do like this stick too. And I will say, I am using that in a minute because I do really, really like it. I, I'm chopping between that and someone else. 
But that's only, I've just got that, so I'm, I'm just sort of experimenting with. But right now, that's there. Four sticks left. Which is next. So what do we have? We've got the PX from True and the 9X from yep. True again. Also got the Trigger 7 Pro from CC with the Core Range and the Sherwood Code. The Pro. Who gets knocked out next? The next is going to be the Sherwood. Okay. And I tell you what, not because it's not a nice stick, it's lovely, it feels great, which, do you know what, it's a quite square stick. And normally I don't like square sticks. I think they're a bit too boxy for me. But I actually really enjoy using the Sherwood. And just to mention, we are expecting a low kick Sherwood. This one here is hybrid kick. I mean, these three sticks are all low kick, so that tells you something. Um, I'm a fan of the low kick stick. So if it changes once we get that stick, maybe me and Chris have to sit down and redo this video. Um, but right now, the Sherwood code is number four. <laughs> it's number four. All right. Damn. Three. Damn it. <laughs> Two of them are true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Ah, damn. Okay, next. It, it, this, this one, I know it's how it's going to go. Um, it's going to be the PX. Though. It's the PX. It is the PX. And it's a lovely stick, but... Too light. Too light. A little, not too light, like, the agent light. It's... Yeah. Just a tad too light. It's usable, yeah. but not for your yeah, I'm just not quite comfortable leaning into it fully with my shot. I'm quite heavy-handed when it comes to me shooting. So for that reason, that's next. Okay. Okay. And I know this is going to surprise a lot of people. Which is number one? It's a tie. Whoa. It's a tie number one. I can't decide between these two sticks. Um, if you was to blind stick test them, I I wouldn't tell them apart. I think they're so similar. It's a joke. Um, I love both of them. They're both amazing sticks. Um, this has been a really, really, really hard video to make because most of them sticks over there I really enjoy using, and I wouldn't complain if handed to me by Chris. If Chris went, oh, I got you another one of these, I, I wouldn't moan. I'd be over the moon because every single one of them over there are lovely sticks, but the, these two are, are number one for me. Unbelievable. The release is just next level. The feel for the puck, I can slap shot with them both. And you can also get that quick release when need or when needed. Fair play. So number one is the Trigger 7 Pro from CCM and the 9X from True. And the bearing in mind we did a video, the 9X is the model below the top spec. It is indeed. Because of that weight you prefer. And that, I mean, that's saying something. That's saying something, but yeah. I mean, I prefer a little bit of weight behind my stick, so that is why the 9X is here and not the PX.